All right, man, we back, good fellow sports TV. Uh, somebody sent me this from Andrew Ruiz. He reacts to coming in and gives an explanation at coming in at 283 pounds versus AJ today. Let's talk about it. We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, you know, if you didn't know, AJ came in 10 pound, or over 10 pounds lighter. I think his last fight was 247.7 or 8. Uh, today he was 237 or 247.8. Today he was 237. So he's significantly lighter uh, on his feet. And he says he, beat, uh, he will be released to the punch tomorrow night. So uh, if you didn't know, the fight kicks off tomorrow around 345 Eastern Standard Time. It's the ring walk. That's 845 UK time. And I heard that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Dave and Busters, and uh, some movie theaters playing the fight. So if you need somewhere to watch it, uh, shout out to time for that information. But he said uh, they made us wait until 430, almost 5 p.m. here. I'd already ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I had on a sombrero in all my clothes. We said a lot of people are saying that I came overweight or this and that. We had to wait so long. I probably put on like 10 pounds just eating and drinking normally today. So uh, he's saying that they had to wait a long time for the weigh-in. You know, he said they had to wait 5 p.m. there. So uh, 5 p.m. there, I'm not sure what the time difference is. Um you know, he said he had already ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and he had on all his clothes. And somebody sent me that too. That the first time when we was waiting at two sixty eight, he was down to his drawers. Today he had a sombrero. Today he had on uh, uh, sweatpants, and he had on you know drawers and and, and, and a wife beater. Uh, shout out to Ike Turner for that one. <laughs> and that that basically like it doesn't like I had the argument with a dude at the gym one day, a <laughs> gym owner. He's like, you know, there's no way your your shoes weigh two pounds. But when you have clothes on and shoes and clo and uh and stuff on your body, it throws the calibration of the scale off. So them shoes may not weigh. I mean, I'm not saying he wore shoes. I'm just giving an example. Those shoes may not weigh two or three pounds, but they might make a two or three pound difference on the weight on the scale. You strip down naked from all your clothes, or at least down to your drawers and your socks. You know, you you know he might have weighed in two eighty three. He might have been actually like two seventy seven, two seventy six. Probably no longer. With the sombrero, maybe 275, you know. So, in actuality, he only weighed in like six pounds heavier. But he had all his clothes on, you know what I'm saying? So, heavyweights don't have to make a weight, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that's just what that is. And also, you know, he's saying that he ate for the full day. Usually, before the weigh-in, the fighters don't eat. They don't. You know, heavyweights, they can eat breakfast, obviously. And then, you go into the weigh-in about noon. And weigh-ins are getting longer and longer. You see today, Jamal and uh, and uh, Dennis Hogan is weighing in at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. It used to be on the East Coast at midday. You go out to, you know, some of the Vegas fights. Not a, not a weigh-ins are at 5 p.m. You know, that's three hours, uh, you know, Pacific time. That's three hours longer than it should be. The weigh-in should be at midday. You should have your weight cut and then and that. So now you got guys that's not eating breakfast. They got to make weight, not heavy weights, not eating lunch, and then... They eating all three of those meals after the weigh-in. So he ate all three of his meals, drunk normally, and all that. And they had a long time to wait. And glad that this basically an all heavyweight type of class type of card as well. So that is what it is, man. So uh, he gave an explanation. I mean, it, it shouldn't bother nobody. People say he was lazy in training. I wouldn't even have made a statement. I just go out there and do what I had to do tomorrow night uh, versus AJ. You know, people want to talk about body physique. But Kanowski, Kanowski and AJ and not Kanowski and uh, uh, um, uh, Big Baby Miller, Andrew Weiss define what they believe an in shape heavyweight is. But Anthony Joshua will have to deal with missions that Water have to deal with. And we'll see if he on Water level. Water routinely is outweighed 40, 50 pounds by his opponent, and he's able to get him out of there. So now AJ don't have that weight advantage. He he did, you know, he dealing with a dude that's significantly bigger than him. We'll see if he can do what Wilder did, you know. Nobody talk about Wilder coming in at 213 versus or 215, whatever it was, versus Tyson Fury, and Fury weighing like 270, you know. Coming in at, you know, two, 213, 210, whatever it was, versus Ortiz the first time, and Ortiz wearing 250 almost. Nobody talk about that about Wilder. So AJ is facing a mission where he's significantly going to be the smaller guy weight-wise. He looking to be small. He looking to be faster. 
He looks in, look in the box. He looking to uh, go to a decision. You know, and like I made a comment before, you know, don't nobody want to see no heavyweights go 12 rounds. People say, you know, well, back in the day, heavyweights went 15, 12 rounds. I don't give a fuck. Don't nobody want to see no heavyweight go no 12 rounds. You know what? That's why the smaller weight classes, you know, didn't get no notoriety over the heavyweight. That's why they made the pound for pound list because nobody really cared about the smaller weight classes because dudes weren't getting knocked out. When people watch heavyweight boxing or heavyweight UFC, they want to see a knockout. They want to see a submission. They want to see somebody hit the canvas. Ain't nobody paying to see no heavyweights go the distance, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Good fellow sports TV. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Want to make a donation? That link subscription. Best way to donate, share the video. I might go live later. I probably will. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. Hit me up on social media too: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email. All the links in the description. We gone.